What's up everybody, how's it going? In this video, I wanna answer a simple question that I've been asked many times on LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, all three platforms that you should follow me on, by the way. And the question is, what programming language should you use in coding interviews? And the answer to the question is just as simple as the question itself. You should use the most esoteric programming language that you can find, that you can master. My recommendation here is the BrainFuck programming language. And the reason that you want such an esoteric programming language is because you effectively want to intimidate your interviewer to confuse them as much as possible, to make them not be able to understand anything that you're writing, because that is the best way, the most assured way of effectively bullying them into giving you a strong higher decision. It works 100% of the time, use BrainFuck. That's gonna be it for this video. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Obviously I'm joking, please don't fucking use brain fuck. And now, for those of you who are still watching, let's actually answer the question. So the answer to the question is a little bit more nuanced. First of all, you have to make sure that the company that you're interviewing at doesn't require you to interview in a particular programming language. Because it's very possible, for example, that the company you're interviewing at will want you to interview in JavaScript, for example, or in one of three programming languages. When I interviewed at Two Sigma, a hedge fund that has an office in New York, they wanted me to interview either in Python, Java, or C++, nothing else. And so, of course, if you're limited to a single programming language or to a few, then naturally, you know, your choice is gonna be a little bit more constrained. But so let's assume that the company that you're interviewing at is gonna let you pick any programming language. So for example, if you're interviewing at Google or Facebook, they will let you pick any programming language. And even if you have the choice between like three programming languages, maybe you're still wondering which one is the best one. And here, you might have heard a lot of other people, myself included, say that Python is likely the best because Python is super simple. It's the easiest programming language, so to speak. And that is partially true, but again, the answer is a little bit more nuanced than that. At the end of the day, I would actually say that the best programming language to do coding interviews in is not necessarily Python, but instead it's the language that you are the best at. So for example, right now, if I were to do a coding interview tomorrow or in a week, I would most definitely not use Python. And instead, I would use JavaScript. Why JavaScript? Well, purely and simply because JavaScript is my best programming language. For example, when I interviewed at Facebook after having spent two years at Google working in JavaScript and after having spent two plus years building Algo Expert in JavaScript. By the way, if you're preparing for coding interviews or systems design interviews, then do check out my company, Algo Expert. Go to algoexpert.io and use the promo code CLEM, C -L -E -M, for a discount on the platform. But so when I was interviewing at Facebook, at that moment in time, JavaScript was by far and away my best programming language, just like it is right now, and I interviewed in JavaScript, even though two years before, when I interviewed at Google, I actually interviewed in Python. So even though Python is presumably a little easier than JavaScript, it's got less syntactic sugar, you don't have brackets, you know, it's very easy to write Python, despite all that, I still interviewed in JavaScript. The best analogy that I can give you here is, if we take a look at normal languages, or like spoken languages, I'm bilingual. I speak French and English fluently. I speak French at home, or more like Franglish. I speak French you know, perfectly. And yet, if you put me in a sort of spoken language interview right now, I would pick English over French just because I use English every single day far more than French. So even though I'm fluent in French, just like I'm fluent in Python, I still am better at English than I am at French. I'm better at JavaScript than I am at Python because I use it almost every single day. So that's the language that I would pick and that's the language that you should pick. And by the way, this also applies to languages that are stereotypically difficult like C++ or C. If you think that your best language is C++ and you're given the choice between C++ and Python in a coding interview, then just go with C++. Even though a lot of people will find C++ much more difficult, if you find it easier because it's the thing that you use every single day, then go with C++. 
However, let's say that you're given three months to prepare for your coding interviews. You can pick any language that you want. You don't really have a preference. You feel rusty in kind of all languages. Maybe you use multiple languages at work, who knows? Then in that case, I would probably revert back to Python because Python is just a pretty easy language. It's syntactically simple. And I would make sure to practice with Python for all your coding interview prep. At the end of the day, if you do 100 plus questions, let's say you do all the questions that we have on Algo Expert in Python or in any programming language, let's say you do them in Kotlin, you will feel well-versed in that programming language enough to pass coding interviews. And I suppose the last couple of points that I should mention here are number one, there certainly isn't gonna be some sort of hidden advantage that you get, or maybe a hidden disadvantage that you get from picking a programming language. In other words, if you're interviewing at Google, where they let you pick literally any programming language, except maybe like the super esoteric ones like BrainFuck or Whitespace, you're not gonna be at an advantage or at a disadvantage if you pick let's say Python or Java or Kotlin, it really isn't gonna matter. Your interviewers are gonna interview you just as they would anybody else, and you will not be favored or disfavored. I think this might be the crux of the question that people ask all the time. They think that maybe there's one language that's gonna give them some sort of edge with regards to the interviewer, the person interviewing them, or that's gonna give them a non-edge, right, like a disadvantage, and that's just not true. Now, the final point I wanted to make is that if you do choose to interview in a slightly esoteric language, like let's say Haskell or Clojure, and you can do that at a company like Google, there is this running joke that because very few people know how to interview in Haskell, or rather know how to write in Haskell, you might land on interviewers who are super, super good at the language, at Haskell, for example. You might even land on the creator of Haskell, because Google has all these famous people working at their company, and that might mean that the interview is going to be a little bit tougher, because the expert is going to be interviewing you, they're going to see if you know the language really well. And here, I think this is just a myth. Again, like, at the end of the day, if you go with Haskell, so long as you know Haskell, you're not going to be at a disadvantage. That wouldn't make sense, and it would go counter to what I just said before. But do realize that if you do go with an esoteric programming language, you really should know it, because at the end of the day, there are few people who can interview you in that language, so it'll be tougher for the company to create the interviews for you, to schedule them for you, and you obviously don't want to waste their time by not knowing how to write in Haskell. And also that would just be like dumb for you. So if you're interviewing in one of those languages, just make sure that you actually know how to write in that language. And maybe, who knows, it'll play to your advantage in the sense that, you know, you might have like a unique conversation with your interviewers. Maybe you'll have uh, some bonus like behavioral points, if that makes sense. But definitely don't bank on that. That is just like, you know, very, very uh, minor pluses might happen. All in all, I hope that you are now convinced from this video that the simple question of, you know, what is the best programming language to do coding interviews in has a very simple answer, which is there really is no best language. It all depends on your situation and who you are. At the end of the day, the best language is going to be the one that you're the best at. And otherwise, there are these few auxiliary points or, you know, tangential points that I mentioned that might be useful for you to know, but again, not super important. Just pick the language that you are the most comfortable in and you will be fine, or at least spend, you know, like a hundred questions worth of practice in that language and you will be fine. At this point, if you found the video helpful now, then don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter if you enjoy short form written content, Instagram if you like pictures, and otherwise I will see you in the next video.